In this tutorial, we'll take a look at extended effects chains. Previous versions of Studio One allowed you to store and recall effects chains, but these were always comprised of effects plugins arranged in a serial manner. Now you can do much more complex things in any channel routing view. We'll check that out. We'll start with a Rhodes patch in the present sampler. And we'll drag the new bit crusher effect in. Selecting the 8 bit analog preset. Now we'll drag the awesome new rotor effect in. Selecting the horn copter effect. Note that the Effect Plugins GUI has a routing button in the top left. Clicking that button reveals the routing view, which looks and works very much like the multi-instrument we used in another tutorial. Click on the splitter button and drag it down to the wire between the bit crusher and the rotor effect. Drag an instance of Studio One 3's auto filter into the path on the right opposite the rotor. Now these two processes will not be fed into one another, but be processed individually before being mixed together again. You can elect to split the channels into two mono signals, or even split according to frequency. And you can assign macro controls here as well. Once again, these tricks apply to the professional version of PreSonus Studio One 3. Done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.